it's Pelle here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to add energy to your music videos and I think this is going to be a cool tutorial uh, this is going to be a little bit more focused on uh, yeah some impacts flash a little bit more as I said the <laughs> earlier energy to your music videos and uh, yeah I'm excited to show you guys how to make it if you guys don't know who I am my name is Pelle Kvarberg I'm from Sweden I've been editing for almost 10 years now and I'm also running a website called editingvisuals.com where I have a bunch of editing packs that's going to elevate your editing game and it's also going to boost up your editing workflow as well. It's going to save you a ton of time and if that's something you're interested in it's going to be a link in the description down below. Now let's start with the tutorials. So here I'm in After Effects, so I'm going to be showing this energy method or yeah, how I make energy in music videos with these clips here, as you guys see. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is basically make a little transition here. So I basically have a transition point here. And I'm going to drag this one like that. And here I'm going to be duplicating this clip, Control D. And this video here overlaps the video under by 7 frames, if you guys want to have some uh, yeah, uh, frames reference here. And I'm using 24 frames per second. And here I'm going to be basically masking out this clip here. I'm going to be making a rectangle shape here. It's going to be half like that. And after that, you're going to be uh, cutting the clip under. So you're going to be going to the transition point and then press Ctrl Shift D here. And then delete it. So now we have this kind of look here. So if we play this now. It's a little cool cut transition there. I think it's pretty unique, so I'm gonna keep it like that. And you can also pre-compose these. Name it. Second clip. Something like that. Now I'm going to be adding some uh, panic crop to this to add a little bit more energy now. So uh, I'm going to be making a adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl Alt Y. Here add transform. I'm going to start off by setting the scale to 150 in the beginning. Then I'm gonna go to the first transition point here. Set it at 100, go to the third one, set it to 150, and then set it at 100 in ending. Then you guys can mark the keyframes like that, press F9, then toggle switches and modes, add a motion blur to it. And just this is going to add more movement to your footage, as you guys can see now. I'm going to be uh, editing the graph here, so open the graph, here drag this one down. Then to the next transition point, here I'm going to drag this one up like this, so it's going to be boom transitioning start and then poof zoom in like that it's clean and then for the third one drag it down like this so this is how it looks now clean already adding a little bit more energy to our footage here and now i'm going to be adding some effects here so i'm going to start off with the first clip here make a adjustment layer control y and then control shift d and here i'm going to be adding exposure i'm gonna set it at a high number seven or eight in the beginning and go to the ending here set it at zero i'm gonna name it flash and exposure here mark the keyframes press f9 graph editor and here drag it down like that so as you guys can see this is how it looks now poof a clean flash there and then if we go to our pre-comp here the second clip we can make a adjustment layer by pressing ctrl alt y animation presets user presets then in grunge pieces here here we can use the dark grungy scan lines and this effect is included in my grunge preset pack which is a part of my all-in-one bundle and this is how it's going to look here absolutely amazing in my opinion uh, you can adjust uh, by adding a new adjustment layer Ctrl y drag it under and here we can add curves and here you guys can adjust by dragging down your clip brightness get a cleaner look and you guys will get this kind of grungy look here i think it looks super super cool here and now when we go back to our energy composition, it's going to look something like this. Just a very, very clean effect to add uh, to your yeah, videos. It's really going to make it pop a lot more, make it unique, as you guys can see here. So the energy looks really, really good so far. And I'm just going to be adding a touch here to the last clip. And I'm going to be making a adjustment layer here. Control alt y Cut it. Uh, so it just covers the last clip. And here I'm going to be adding flicker. I'm going to set the amplitude to a 1 and the random color amplitude to 0 0.2. And then keyframe them and then go to the ending, set both of them to 0. 
open the adjustment layer, effects, flicker, mark the keyframes, press F9, drag the keyframes to the end like that, open amplitude graph, make the graph look something like this here. Now when I see this, I actually want to increase the amplitude to 2 instead to get a stronger flicker, then make the same kind of graph, something like that. Now when I look at it, I don't see that much color when I have the random color amplitude keyframe, so I'm actually going to uncheck that and I'm going to have it at 0 0.3 consistent, so it's going to be having a little bit more flickering uh, colors. A very small touch, but it's going to be having a little bit more colors as you guys can see here. And you guys can obviously add even more energy to your videos by uh, time remapping them and adding flow to this. Uh, I've already made a flow kind of uh, tutorial. It's going to be a link in the description if you guys are interested in that. But for this video, I wanted to show how to add flow to your music videos without using any time remapping. So this is just normal speed footage. And we already get this kind of look here. Looks very, very clean. So now when you're satisfied with this, you guys can pre-compose this. So mark all the layers except the panic crop layer at the top. Right click, pre-compose, energy full. And here I'm going to be using Shake Sauce 2 here. So if I go to this transition here, I'm going to go to Keyframed. And then here we have Flicker Shake here. So double click. And it's going to be a link in the description to the Flicker Shake tutorial I made. So as you guys can see, this is how it looks so far. Insanely, insanely clean and has a ton of energy to, to it. As you guys can see, it's insanely good. And Shake Sauce 2 is also going to be linked in the description if you guys want to check it out. It's one of the best Shake uh, plugins for After Effects in my opinion. And as you guys can see here, with just one effect, you guys will get that kind of shake there. Amazing in my opinion. And if you guys want to have a little bit more uh, motion blur to it, make it a little bit more smoother, you can add RSMB to this. And here I usually drag down the blur amount to 0 0.4, motion sensitivity to 50, then use GPU on. So this is how it's going to look with the RSMB, Shake Sauce, all the effects we have been adding for this uh, energy effect here. I think it looks absolutely amazing and I think we all can agree this is really nice energy <laughs> to have for your music videos. And if you guys want to check out the Grunge preset pack I used for this tutorial here, which is a part of my only one bundle, it's going to be a link in the description down below and it's also going to be a little discount code there as well. So feel free to check it out. And if you guys like this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe and share this tutorial. Don't forget to check out my socials, join my Discord server, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.